What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I'm doing another drugstore video out of my drugstore series. So get excited because we going about, we going about, yes, we are about to dive into all of the best and worst mascaras at the drugstore. Let's get ready because this is gonna be a good video. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the little Rockstar fam bam and let go, let go, let go. There you go. So we're gonna start off with the best mascaras at the drugstore out of all the mascaras that I've ever tried. Honestly, um, I do feel like the drugstore is, there's a lot of amazing mascaras out there. You know, I feel like mascara is one of the strong points when it comes to drugstore affordable makeup. I feel like there are tons and tons and tons of options that really do work well. What I look for is a lot of volume and a lot of length. I kind of like the best of both worlds there. So that's kind of the you know, the mascaras that I'm going to be talking about do it all. They do volume, they do length, they do, they make them big, they make them fluffy, they don't look like they're clumpy at all, so that is what I personally look like, or look for, I should say, and like I said, there are tons of options, so I really had to narrow it down. This was difficult for me. It was difficult for me to narrow down the best ones because there are just so many good ones out there, but my number one all-time favorite mascara. It's actually a newer mascara too, which is like crazy because you guys know me. I'm usually one to be like, no, I have to try it out for months and months and months before I'm like, this is my favorite thing of all time. But with this guy, there was no need to do that even because I can honestly say this is the best drugstore mascara I've ever used in my life. It is better than most high-end mascaras, I would say. I have used this every single day since I first tried it. I have not put down this one mascara, so it is my all-time favorite. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I'm telling you, this will take your lashes to paradise. It will literally give you anything and everything you could ever want in regards to big, full, voluminous lashes. This makes my natural lashes, which honestly aren't like crazy great or anything, but it makes it look like I have falsies on. It's the craziest thing I've ever um, seen, honestly, in a mascara, and I also like the packaging a lot. I just think it's really pretty, but I'm telling you, the wand is what makes a huge difference. So it does have like an hourglass sort of wand, very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I would say this is quite a good dupe for it, honestly, um, but I almost like this one a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because I feel like the formula really holds a curl up, it doesn't fall down, it doesn't flake, it doesn't really move anywhere, it just makes your lashes look full, voluminous, long, it stays all day, like there's literally, it hits all the bullets. There's nothing more that I could ask for from a mascara than this guy, so that is why I definitely wanted to tell you guys about it first. And like I said, it is actually a newer mascara on the market. Market, so get your hands on it if you haven't already because honestly it's really 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 bomb like you got to try it out got to get on this bandwagon but there is one other mascara um, that was my ride or die before I tried the L'Oreal one and it's the Maybelline Big Shot or Colossal Big Shot I should say this is also an amazing amazing mascara you guys and I still love this one I mean obviously you guys you know you hear me raving about this one but I still do love this one to death because this was my little baby this was my I okay I'll be real I think before I tried this I could not put this down for probably four months um, pretty much ever since it got released as well and the thing that I like about this is it's very very volumizing um, even more so than lengthening it just gives you so much beautiful volume this is amazing for the bottom lashes as well I feel like it has a nice wand because the bristles are actually quite short um, so you can really get down and dirty with those bottom lashes right there and you know you don't have to worry about them hitting the uh, skin underneath there or whatever your lower lash line I should say um, but yeah I mean this is still an amazing mascara I think it is definitely one one that I would recommend if you're the type of person that just wants a lot of volume this is definitely one that I would choose and 100s belongs in my top favorites these are for shizzles my two top favorite mascaras of all time even out of luxury mascaras or high-end mascaras these two are kind of like over over and above those for me just for me I don't know the next one is such an oldie but a goodie it like brings back so many good memories I used to live in Vancouver, I don't know if a lot of you used to know this, but I was obsessed with this one mascara, and a, a lot of you guys, if you have been with me for a long time, if you've been watching my videos for quite a while now, like pretty much ever since I first started making them, you'll probably know what I'm about to say because I used to rave and rave and rave about this mascara, and it is one of the cheaper products at the drugstore, um, and when I was living in Canada, 
I didn't even know that they sold this in the US, so I was like, oh my god, like this is so awesome. They don't have this in LA, like where I'm originally from and everything. So I was just like so on this bandwagon, and it is the Essence Cosmetics I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Now, like I said, I didn't know at that time that they sold Essence in the US. I don't think they did actually, but now they do. So now it's pretty readily available um, if you're in the US, if you're in Canada, hopefully overseas they have um, it read readily available because it is one of the cheaper options at the drugstore as far as brands go. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much this is because I did buy it quite a while ago and I think I bought it when I was living in Canada still, but I'm pretty sure that it's, you know, on the cheaper side and it is so good, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, this was my ride or die mascara for probably two years straight and the thing that I 100% love about this mascara which is crazy because I'm not usually a plasticky wand kind of person. I like a nice bristle, I like a thick bristle, something that's really going to hold onto the lashes and give me a lot of volume. But I don't know what they did with this mascara wand, but it is a it is a plastic wand and it has the tiniest bristles I have ever seen. It's like I've never seen a wand like this, okay? But when you glide them on, it just gives you so much volume like I think it's because there's so many little bristles on it I don't know if you can even see that from this far but because there's like a bunch of little bristles it really like locks on to your lashes and especially if you use the technique that's kind of like wiggling it at the base and then gliding out girl you are going to die if you try this mascara I'm not even joking you like I said I probably use it for two years straight and it was everything I could ever ask for and more. This is another one that's amazing for the bottom lashes just because it does have those like really tiny bristles in it and the formula is very good. It does not flake. It doesn't um, wear off throughout the day. Again, like I said, um, I do think that the these two are just a little bit more long wearing for me personally, but like I said, this is just, these three, this is like the trifecta of mascaras that just makes my heart palpitate because it's, they're all so, so good. Um, but I will say that this is my favorite out of all of them and it's the newest one and just everything about it is just life. Everything, everything. We gonna get to the poopers in my book. Um, obviously, you know, this is just my opinion. I say this in every video that I do that's like best and worst of something just because I'm here to give you my honest opinion. But if something does not work for me, if that works for you, honey, keep on using it because you do you, boo. Um, but this one definitely did not. So this is from a brand that I really love. Like, I honestly do. I don't know. It's, but just this mascara was just not great for me. Not even like a little bit wearable, honestly. So this is the Milani Lash Trifecta. Right on it, it says that it lengthens, curls, and separates. The wand looked interesting to me. I mean, like I said before, I personally do not like plastic wands for the most part. There have been some exceptions, like the Essence wand and um, Benefit has a good plastic um, wand mascara. But on the average mascara I do not like the plastic wand so already I was kind of like mm, but like it looks interesting so let me give it a try but it has this curve in it so I was kind of like okay let's use it like upside down to kind of curl it up because I think that's you know what they had on the diagram on the box <sighs> honey I've never seen my lashes look so straight in my life like they were literally sticking down which I don't even know how that was possible I think that it was like the mascara was like weighing it down almost because for some reason this wore very heavily on my eyes if that makes sense like it did start to flake it weighed them down I have I'm not, I'm not even joking you it was sticking down I was like huh? what what V confused V confused that was the main problem that I had with it was that it actually did the opposite of what it says that it's gonna do. It did not curl my lashes at all whatsoever. I did even use a lash curler too, so like it logically it doesn't even really make sense to me. Like I can't even comprehend it, but they were like weighed down, it flaked, it didn't um, really make my lashes feel any longer. It definitely didn't give me volume, so already like, you know, I like I had said before, I love volume in mascaras, um, but I thought that I would give this a try, and it is a little pooper. Um, even if you are just looking for a mascara that lengthens your lashes, I would not recommend this, honestly, just because I really did not feel like it did that. I didn't feel like it wore well, it wasn't comfortable, it, there were really no pluses, so I don't think I've ever even reached for it again after that first time that I tried it out. And yeah, that's the first, that's the first one that I had to talk about. Now this next one, 
<gasps> I have nightmares about this one. I did talk about this already, but it is the Wet n Wild Mega Impact Mascara. And child. Child. First off, um, honestly, the wand was very promising to me. I was like, okay, well, like, I could get used to this wand. It has, it looks like it's gonna have an amazing wand because it looks very fluffy, very full. It just looks like it's gonna have a lot, like, it's, it looks like it's gonna do a lot for my lashes, you know what I mean? But, let me tell you, it did the exact opposite. It literally did absolutely nothing to my lashes. Nada. Negative. Nothing. So, at least this one, like, product came out. It just was like making my lashes do a little bit of that. But this one, I'm telling you, like literally, I don't even know where the product was. Like I just, I couldn't even see anything on my lashes. And I did talk about this before, but like I'm rubbing pretty hard and barely anything comes off. It has the most dry formula I've ever seen on a mascara. Um, I know that some people do find it easier to work with drier mascaras. But this is like the Sahara Desert over here. This is like as dry as you could possibly get. And I had mentioned this before um, somewhere, maybe Snapchat or something, that I actually thought that it was a mistake. Like I was like, oh, maybe this is like a bad one. Maybe, you know, it accidentally got opened in the packaging or something. So I went out and bought a second one to see if it did the same thing. And it 100% did. Like a hundos, the driest thing I've ever put on my eyes. So like you just saw, no pigment comes out. When I feel it, I just feel like a scratchy, the scratchiness of the bristles on my hand. And like, I mean, I have not used this enough for it to be empty. If, you know, if any of you want to throw that out there, it's not empty. It's brand new, pretty much. Um, and I just don't understand how this formula would be workable for anybody just because I just, how? Like, I just, it really did nothing. Like, I, absolutely nothing and the weirdest part was so like I felt like it did nothing I, I didn't see any product coming out I didn't see any lengthening I didn't see any volumizing I really didn't see anything happening but as I wore throughout the day I got mascara flakes on my face so overall worst mascara I've honestly ever used um, I'll be real um, because like I just said one it did nothing two it's dry as can be I could, couldn't really even work with it um, so that's why no product came out um, three I still got the flakiness of the mascara all over my face all over this grill and it didn't lengthen it didn't volumize so overall not a great pick I wouldn't recommend it to you guys. Definitely go for one of these three if you're in the market for a new mascara and you are going for drugstore. Honestly, I recommend going drugstore for mascara just because, you know, overall, they have so many good ones that are so comparable to high-end mascaras and luxury mascaras. Like, I'm telling you, this one... That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you find these helpful like when I do best and worst just because I don't want you guys to waste your money on products that honestly aren't even worth your money. Like I know these are drugstore affordable whatever but honestly do not waste your money. Um, I would much rather you you know spend your money on something that's going to be bomb that's going to make your lashes look amazing. You know what I mean? So yeah I hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want me to keep doing my drugstore videos like my drugstore series then make sure to give it a thumbs up because that'll kind of be like our little indicator to show me like that you guys still want to see a lot more drugstore videos coming up and if you do comment down below um telling me what you want to see like out of drugs out of the drugstore realm I should say like I could do um more drugstore tutorials I could do I don't know more drugstore like favorites and worse like this sort of thing but I really want to know what you guys want to see so let me know down in the comment section and that my friends is almost it but I do have a giveaway for you guys so this is the Tarte Cosmetics Lights Camera Lashes Mascara one of my all-time favorite mascaras again if you've been me for with me for a long time you probably already know that because I used to rave about this mascara so much um, because it really does kind of do it all it's you know very volumizing very lengthening it has nice pigment to it it doesn't fall out it's very long wearing it's it's great. So I definitely wanted to give you guys away one of these and all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed and then comment down below your answer to the question of the day, which is, 
What should the question of the day be? Um, comment down below what your favorite mascara is. All time favorite mascara. It could be high end, it could be drugstore, it could be luxury, it could be whatever. Let me know your favorite mascara and you'll be good to go. So that is going to be it. Remember, you are beautiful once in and out. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you next time.